What's up guys? Yes, I'm having another bad hair day. I found my CSI New York hat though. I actually got this on the set of CSI New York. They were filming here uh, not long ago and when I saw the signs, I was like, oh my god. So I had to stop by it and I was just like, you know, total nerd right there. I was like, oh my god, I love CSI. That was back then. I mean, I still, I still like CSI, but I don't watch it anymore, so. And they gave me this, one of the workers there. I saw Gary Sinise, I didn't meet him, but I saw him, that's about it. And then I met a lot of the crew. And I got to walk on the set too, that was pretty cool. And then they gave me the hat, and I was like, yeah! But, today's Dedication Tuesday, and I'm gonna be talking about, guess what? Gears of War. So scratch CSI, and let's start talking about Gears of War. I'm gonna talk some about some of the comics. I'm, I'm gonna talk about all of them completely, and I'll tell you why. I've got my gaming collection in here. Like my, like all the things that I buy that aren't the actual game, but part of the game, like say books, comics, stuff like that, that's what I put in here. So, um, let's see if I can show you. There's my beauties. Ugh. Ow, my finger's gonna break. So today I'm gonna talk about the comics. I'm gonna talk about these. And I can't talk about all of them completely because I'm actually missing three comics. <sighs> Which drives me crazy because I can't find these anymore. Um, there are issues. There's like, I think there's like 19 issues out right now. And I can't find, I think it's issue 14, 15, and 16. I think those are the ones I'm missing. I looked for them online, but originally these comics cost like $3.99 at the most. And the ones on $2.99, I got this one for $2.99. Um, and you could find them online, but they're like $9. And I'm like, what? I don't want to do that. Un unless I really can't find them anywhere, then maybe... But I really don't want to have to pay that when they don't cost that much. I already ordered them. See if they come in, I don't know. But I ordered them at my local comic book shop that I go to. Um, and I there is actually, I forgot that I have to call. Uh, 14, 15, 16, yeah. Um, I, there's another comic book shop that I actually found out is out here. I think it's probably new because I had never heard of it. And I was like, oh, I have to call to see if they have them there. I doubt it. But, I mean, some of these I even got for a dollar. Like, and it's kind of, it's actually a repeat. I got issues 13 and 12 um, for a dollar because they were old. So what I decided to do was I bought the graphic novel. So it's got um, issues 1 through 6 in this this one. And I got this one. This is issue, this is uh, um, graphic novel number two, and it has issues seven through 13, I believe. And I actually got this one really cheap online, and it's actually hardcover. I got it for cheaper than this one. Like this one, I got it at the comic book sh shop for like $14. And I did it because you, it's hard to find the earlier issues now. Uh, and this one, I got it online for like $8. And it's a hardcover. And it's got those issues in here. So, I love this one. So I'm, I'm mostly going to be talking about this and this one. So issues 1 through 13. Even though you have a bunch of comics in, in the graphic novel, uh, it doesn't mean that they're all, con like, they're all, they all go in order. Like, I mean, like, they're not con all continuations of the one that came before. So there's there's uh, issue seven through thirteen in here, like seven through eleven, I think, are all of one series, but then the rest of them are like single comics, like on their own. So for this one, um, this one is just one story. Like the comics in here are a series, uh, because the the series that's in here was a six issue comic. So, um, it, and it was all called The Hollow. This takes place after Gears of War 1, like immediately after. It takes place two months after the light mass bombing. So after you drop the bomb uh, from that train in Gears of War 1, 
this this is what happens after. I think one of the most important things about this comic or this series, it introduces the character Jay Stratton, and he's he's a uh, He's going to be a character, one of the main characters in Gears of War 3. But he 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 was mentioned in Gears of War 2. And he, he, he has been in the comics and in the books. He's finally going to make an appearance in Gears of War 3. And this is Jace. So this is when you actually first see Jace. Like, that's, that's Jace um, in this comic, and you kind of get to learn about him. He's a gear, he's, he's pretty young, he's in Delta, uh, Delta Squad, he's, uh, with Marcus and Dom. They're basically just wandering the streets, trying to find out, trying to see if, you know, what, what was left behind from the light mass bomb, what's going on with the locusts and all that. And then you also meet another gear, uh, he was on a different squad, his name is Michael Barrick. That's this guy, him. He's always smoking a cigar, and he has, actually has rust lung. Well, rust lung is uh, rust lung started up after the light mass bomb. So all any soldiers that were right in like in the area where the light mass bomb exploded, they're having like really really bad problems like in their in their lungs and health problems. They like coughing up blood and stuff like that, and they have like symptoms of vertigo and stuff, and. Barrick actually has rust lung, and he's just smoking the whole time. And and uh, Marcus is like, that stuff is gonna kill you. And because Marcus kind of thinks that he's coughing all the time because of the smoke, the smoking. But the guy's like, nah, pff, that's this isn't gonna kill me. I already, I'm already, you know, I'm already sick. It talks a lot about Jace. This one, and Jace, he was an orphan. He. Uh, he was a little kid uh, during E-Day. He barely remembers, but what he does remember is that his brother was killed uh, by locusts. Like, his brother was also a kid. Um, he was an older brother, his older brother. And Jace just can't forget that. Uh, he can't get that out of his, uh, his mind. He just keeps on remembering it, and it's just something that it really, that really, uh, that really hurts him when he remembers. So he was an orphan. He was sent to this, like, this, this, I guess, orphanage, you could call it, where they would send all these kids that lost their parents during, during E-Day and all that. He was sent there, and he was basically raised there by this old guy. When they go on patrol again, the Gears, uh, they, they stumble upon this city, or they stumble upon this little town that's abandoned, well, kind of abandoned. There's still some stranded, and I, I, I don't think I've actually mentioned the stranded in any of my Gears of War videos. The stranded are people that uh, aren't part of the army or part of the cog. They're just, they just, they separated themselves and they're like people that are out there to fend, them, to fend for themselves and they, they're not soldiers. They're just people with like women and children and they're just trying to survive. But the cog, they try to give them, you know, as much food as they can, but they can't, they can't supply them with a lot of food because the, the people that really need a lot of calories are soldiers, especially the gears, because the gears are s super pumped. And they're, they're pumped because they're the ones that are uh, on the front lines. They're the ones that, that fight the locusts, so they kind of have to be. They can't be these scrawny little guys because they, they would have no chance. Um, and the Stranded, they're, they're kind of like pissed off at the cog and... Pissed off at the cog for a lot of reasons that I won't go into right now. I'll probably do another video about that. But um, yeah, they they just they don't they don't care at all for the cog and um, but they're out there trying to fend for themselves and, and the gears every now and then they'll bump into them uh, when they walk into into like abandoned cities you'll you, they'll see the stranded there and the cog and the and the, the stranded don't get along. So the gears, uh, whenever there's gears and stranded, they're not gonna get along. So they get to they get to this town, and they think it's completely abandoned, but they're looking for survivors, and there are survivors. There's these people that are hiding, and they find this little girl. And the, the name of the town, I mean, I don't I don't usually cuss on my videos just because I want them to be you know uh, safe for anybody to see them, but the town is actually called. So they find this little girl there, and Jace just feels really bad for her because uh, she doesn't know where her parents are, and it just kind of like touches home for him. He kind of like remembers 
his situation and he's just like damn that sucks so he tells marcus let's take her and marcus is first he's like what are you serious we're gonna be taking a kid but marcus also he's not the type of person to leave kids behind in a situation that's just in a town that's called so they take her uh and this kid's probably like seven or eight years old um so they take her uh with them and they have this huge battle uh with this i think it was a corpser and uh baird and cole uh end up hearing their distress call because the marcus is keeps on calling he's like we need backup we need backup and baird and cole hear their distress call and they're actually not in delta here they're actually in a in, on in another squad called sigma that they now lead so they come they help them and baird and cold have to take the girl to safety and uh jace and the rest of them are gonna keep uh going uh they're gonna keep on keep on their mission and while they're on their mission, Jace is going to be looking for the little girl's parents. Their missions aren't like these really important missions. They're just basically looking. Uh, they're, they're checking cities and they're like checking to see if there's anybody left or uh, checking to see if locusts are anywhere around. So they're just basically trying to like clear the area. They eventually do come to this other town that's even like worse off there's like hardly anybody there there's a there's like a handful of survivors um and uh the little girl's parents uh, she, you find out what happened to the parents there uh the mother is like really really bad like she's in bad condition a wretch had bit her arm off and she has like a fever now and the dad just was didn't make it he, he was killed so there's a picture of jace and the little girl and the broomock in the back. Or actually, no, that's not a broomock, that's a corpser. Yeah, it was a corpser. So yeah, this was a good comic. Oh, this was pretty cool because uh, Jace falls into the hollow, like not too deep, like a sinkhole. He just falls into a sinkhole. Dom is like, oh my god, we gotta get him out of there. And they get uh, helicopters and they have to wait for a while. So Jace is down there for a little bit. And there's actually a berserker down there and he's like oh my god what am i gonna do uh so that was a cool part because i think actually uh when he was a kid you can see him right there when he was a kid there was a berserker so it's kind of like making him remember when he was a kid and they do get him out and all that so that was good because jace didn't die and then they go into this little scene which i thought was pretty cool uh it's the scene where if you've played gears of war um, you know that Dom has this picture of Maria and him, this one, that one. He carries around with it. He, he always carries it uh, wherever he goes. And it, it goes into the scene where they actually took the picture. Uh, it's like a memory of his. There's Marcus. So they've known each other for a long time. Uh, and he takes a picture. Marcus actually took that picture. So that's basically it for this comic. It was good. It wasn't like anything special like I said it was just like kind of introducing what happened after the light mask bomb and Jace